Hey everyone, Norm from Tested here at Monster Palooza 2022. And you may not know, well, you know his work. He's Raph Gossetti. Um. Raph, if you play video games, you play God of War, if you're on Instagram and you follow character models, if Maybe. you're on Reddit, your stuff just goes viral. That's fine, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last time I, I met you here at Monster Palooza, I think God of War had just come out. Yes. Uh, you were the art director yeah. on that and at Santa Monica, Santa Monica Studio. Mm -hmm. So very talented, very prolific you, character sir. artist. Uh, but my favorite thing about the work you do is that you also take your work from digital into the physical. Uh, tell me about your journey doing that with 3D printing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I actually started with traditional and then I discovered ZBrush and, you know, digital modeling and then I went straight into games. And then it kind of took a while to turn, but I've still, I've been doing, you know, digital sculpting for a while. And the 3D printing becoming more accessible makes, you know, I can go back and, and see my my thing in physical. So it's almost like a full circle. I still do a lot of traditional. You've seen some of my my clay sculpts as well, but I have a lot more control over the you know the sculpts to make different sizes. I have like different sizes of the same product and and same sculpt. So it's, it's been fun. It's been fun. I love it. And I remember it was like three years ago. You did an unboxing video of the AnyCubic. Mono X, yeah. the first 4K mono resin printer. Mm -hmm. You said it was a game changer. I completely agreed. Yeah. And you've been on a crazy journey since then. You're like resin printing all your stuff now. Yeah. I feel like that to me, and it was a game changer just because it's, it's so accessible. Yeah. They have the smaller ones, which is like, you know, it's like 300 bucks at the time. I don't even know how much it is now. But makes it accessible for people to do resin printing at home. Right. And they have like, you know, equal resins, like the stuff that's manageable at home. So I think to me, I've started printing a lot more stuff and I've reviewed printers, different printers, and I feel like the technology is evolving so quickly. It is. That for you to even purchase 3D models, printing at home, you paint, you know, paint kits. Yeah. It's so fun. It's so fun. I love it. And to being able to do it my own stuff, it becomes like even more. Like you yeah. come with this huge advantage of the experience doing digital creatures and characters right. yeah, for yeah. your professional day job and your hobby. And then also, but understanding of the physical form mm -hmm. with your your clay sculpting yeah, yeah. as well. Uh, what's really fascinating? So these are castings, right? Of of prints you print your master. Yep. You're still going through like a mold and cast process. Yes. You, so you told me there's some interesting engineering that you're also factoring now. Can you walk me through that? Yeah. For a character like this, we can pull this on apart. Like, actually, this one, it's all you can play with that. All the little parts come out and all magnets. Oh my god. Just because like we were talking about it, just painting. I love to paint my stuff and I I want to build something that makes it manageable to paint. And I paint kits, you know, so they, these are, to me, you know, as, as the best I can make it for people to paint it and for myself to just enjoy seeing just the piece as well. I think yeah. the engineering is a part of the process where people don't realize how much work it goes behind the scenes just to get all the parts to come together. And the, I, think, I feel like the digital allows a lot more control over what's, you know, what can be done. Yeah, for your registration, it's gonna be perfect. Yeah. And you know with the printers today, once properly calibrated, you're not gonna have it's shrinkage. Gonna it's gonna be exactly how you designed it yeah. in yeah. the program. It took me a while to just get all the settings down and, and figure out like the, the distance that needs to be. But it's all part of the process and I feel like there's a lot of tools out there that you can learn. You know, you can learn like how to make all the all the all the parts, all the male, females, and then you just get yeah, get it going. Is it changing how you approach any of your designs in terms of like overhangs and and like the, the scope of like casting the... casting changes how you see things yeah for you to put just print something out it's very easy to just put supports and send it to the printer but once you have to make copies of it then you need to understand how you know a two-part mold works how resin will, will kind of you know behave and that's something that comes with time too and I'm, I'm I don't do the casting myself but I study it and I know how to work how to make them but it's a whole lot of work on itself just to get yeah. copies out there. If I, printing is one thing, like printing takes a lot of work mm -hmm. to clean it up and then casting is just, just a whole, whole other thing. Something I gotta ask you about, some of the stuff that, of your artwork that goes most viral are you know, representations of very popular characters, right. you know, superheroes or yeah. video game characters, maybe in a more realistic light or a more kind of detailed light. Right. You know, what, what's your thought process when you, when you go and embark on like a, a set of characters. I, you know how social media works. So I'm always looking for the edge of like, is people gonna get triggered by this? Where can I go that people haven't seen it yet? I, I, I got the Bowser here, yeah. which is one of the uh, 
one wow. of the ones that got, got kind of viral and just getting like a more realistic, some of my style going more realistic, but then picking themes that people, Nintendo, like people love Nintendo. So that was yes. like an easy target. Yes, you know, yes. Like go for that. Yeah. And just having fun, I think, you know, especially with social media, putting stuff out there that people talk about it. Some people hate it, some people love it. It's just a part of the fun, a part of the process. So that's what I go for. And then just redesign of existing characters that I love. And I know people would enjoy it as much as I do. So like the Yoshimitsu is one of them. Yes. And it's just trying to have fun. It's purely a creative exercise. It's not like yeah, you're like yeah. hoping a filmmaker will watch, see that and say, ooh, no. that's how I want the... The, the case is like that. I've done like the Star Fox it was like, yeah, man, it's something I would just love to see, it, you know, in my, my style, a little more realistic. So like, oh, I'm just going to do that. So there's a little bit of that too, but most of it is just, can I, can I be a point of conversation? Can I put something out there that people will like it and just talk about it? Just, it that's what I do with friends. So it's kind of, you know, I and can just be a part of that. It clearly resonates with the audience. We love it. And I, I can't, it's like, it's why we're at Monster Palooza. So we can see yeah, your yeah. Bowser, you know, in physical form because you're also 3D printing it. Exactly, and, you know, yeah. you, and, and you understand the, you know, the, the benefits and limitations and, and all the ways you can manipulate this, this material, this right, process. Right. Yeah, I'm a collector as well. So like, this is like my bread and butter. Like I love to just put it, something out there that people can have at their home. Digital is one thing, like physical, it's, a, it's a, you know, being able to see it, to hold it. It's, it's what I love. You, know, it's you also do courses as well, is that right? Yeah, yeah, as part of like, when I'm doing things, I'm recording myself and I, I teach people who want to learn more about the process. So I do have some courses online. People want to check it out, learn something from it. I, I think there's this wonderful kind of feedback loop of people, maybe fans of the characters who don't have the skills, don't have the sculpting experience, but learn printing, for example, yeah, yeah. and learn then ways to modify the prints yeah. and ways to you know, understand form and understand yeah. that and then embark on a journey to yeah. learn digital sculpting. I think that's yeah. a wonderful uh, kind yes. of a, a result. Of right, back, right back at you. I know you do, do a lot for the community. I look for that too. Like I didn't have that as when I was starting. So as much as I can give back and then show people that can be, it's not, it's nothing scary. Like you can't do it. Cause you know, you can just get your hands dirty and then just have some fun. Well, congratulations on all your success. We thank love you. your work, and uh, it's great to see you around. Thank you, great Norm. To see thank you. you. Appreciate you, man.